Hi guys, welcome back one more time to my YouTube channel, Glory Cordero. Today, we're going to be doing helado de coco or coconut sorbet. We know machine. We old school. We're going to do it like we used to do back in the days. When machines do not exist, I guarantee you guys... <laughs> This is my guarantee to you, and you're going to love it. It's easy to make, delicious to taste, and the best thing we no machine is homemade caseros. Um, stay tuned for the recipe. All right, guys, this is what we need to do the perfect coconut sorbet or helado de coco we're gonna need whipping cream we're gonna need one liter cream of coconut or coco lopez cinnamon to taste coconut flavor one quarter teaspoon of vanilla we're gonna need the ice cream scooper of course we're gonna need a spatula. We like a through Puerto Rican. I'm gonna be using real coconut. This is if you want to, you can skip this step if you don't like the flakes. We're gonna shred it with this cheese shredder. We're gonna use this side, guys. Make sure we use this side to shred it our coconut. Like I said, if you don't like the flakes, you can skip this step. Recommendation. The whipped cream has to be cold. I recommend to put it in the refrigerator one hour before you do the ice cream. We're going to need a mixer, mixing bowl, and a score the pan so we can put our ice cream mixture. Alright, this is our ingredients. One more time. See you to the next step. Alright guys, now we're going to shred our coconut. You can skip this step if you don't like um, the coconut flakes. You can always skip this step or if you don't want to do this. Just go in the store and buy the flakes already done. They sell them. They sell the flakes, but I like old school. I'm old school. I like to do exactly how my grandparents taught me how to do this. I'm doing the same way I learned it. Same way I'm showing you guys. And I'm going to do this. With all my coconut, see you in a minute for the next day. Okay, guys, this is how the coconut flake looks like after I shred it with my shoe shredder. Um, we're going to set this aside. Um, if you don't like the flakes, like I said earlier, you can skip this step. See you for the next step. All right, guys, now we're going to whip the cream, the whipping cream. into all the whip when is whip. See you in a moment. Alright guys, I'll be whipping this cream for a good 20 minutes. Do not over whip the batter. This is what we're looking for. You see the pig? See the pig guy? This is the consistency we're looking for. See you for the next step. Alright guys, this is the coconut cream right here. We're going to incorporate our batter little by little into our cream of coconut. We 
You gotta be careful, guys. If you follow my step, step by step, you're gonna have a creamy coconut ice cream. Sorber, whatever people call it. Oh, helado de coco. I'm doing it the way my grandparents always teach me how to do it. I'm always, guys. I'm old school. I like to do my stuff the same way they teach me. I think it's the best way to do it. This is delicious. We incorporate all the batter, all the whipped cream batter to the cream of coconut. Just like this, guys. Using a spatula is the best way to fold it. How beautiful it's looking already, and we're not even done. Now is the best time. This is beautiful, guys. Now is the best time to add quarter spoon of coconut flavor. Just a little bit. A quarter um, teaspoon of vanilla. Just like that. And a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon to taste. It's optional, you don't have to do what you don't want to. It's just optional. I like it, I love it. So I'm gonna put some. Mmm. This smells so good, guys. I love it. I need to incorporate everything. See how creamy it looks already, guys? Mmm. I'm telling you. You're going to be doing this to your grandkids, to your kids, to your husband, to your neighbors. This is the best thing. When you eat one of these um, helados de coco, mm, it's like you in heaven. Okay, guys. Now, we're just going to... Transfer my mixture to my bowls. Just like that. Just like that. Alright guys, now we're gonna flatten it like this to make it look pretty and smooth. Really smooth. Just like that. And don't think I forget the coconut flakes. The only reason I did not put the coconut flake into the mixture is because me and my family do not like those inside our aspirin. I'm going to use this at the end when the aspirin is done for garnish only. So now we're going to put these babies in the refrigerator or the freezer. Not refrigerator, the freezer. For at least 8 hours. See you after 8 hours. All right, guys, this is my final result. I got my plates. I got my coconut shredder. I got my vanilla wafers. I got, of course, as a true Puerto Rican, my spoon to eat it. I got the scooper. And let's see how this baby came out. All right, guys, now let's see the result of my ice cream look guys mm. don't this is beautiful and i'm gonna serve it in my plate of course as a true puerto rican beautiful and creamy guys the best thing is it's really really creamy look guys don't that look delicious oh lord it look like we're in heaven right now. 
from heaven. Look, guys, look, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Mm. I wish I was here with me right now, enjoying my ice cream. We're gonna garnish it with a little bit of coconut in the top. We're gonna put a wafer, maybe two wafers. Mmm, how yummy this look, guys. Mmm, and of course, we can never left out the spoon. This is the spoon, the homemade spoon out of the coconut. Mmm, guys, don't this look delicious? You tell me. It just don't look delicious, guys. Look how beauty it came out. It's really yummy. It's really creamy. Guys, look, it's creamy. Mmm. Try it. I guarantee you guys, you is not gonna regret doing this dessert. Mmm, guys, this is my final result. How delicious my ice cream look like. Helado de coco or coconut sorbet. You got to try it. This is my spoon. Mmm. Delicious. I hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up. Comment, like, and share if you enjoy my recipe. Stay tuned for my next recipe. See you next time. Bye-bye.